Bad news for fans of Arnold Schwarzenegger who were hoping to see him in Expendables 4 and even more so return to the Predator franchise. Just it was reported that Sylvester Stallone has exited Expendable 4 over creative differences. Arnold confirmed that he would also pass unless Sly was on board. Speaking with EW, Arnold said there is no Expendables without Sly and that he would never do the movie without him. As for The Predator, which has a new version currently filmed and helmed by the Nice Guys director Shane Black, Arnold told Yahoo Movies, they asked me and I read it and I didn't like it, whatever they offered. So I am not going to do that, no. Except if there's a chance that they rewrite it or make it a more significant role, but the way it is now, no, I won't do that. Perry, based on Arnold's comments, do you buy or sell him changing his mind and signing on for either project? I think I'm going to buy this. Mm. I would be very sad to see an Expendables 4 without him. I'd be very sad to see the Predator franchise continue on without him, or at least at this point. But I'm going to buy it because good for him for assessing the quality of a script and the people he's working with and then backing out for that reason. I can totally understand if Sly's not part of Expendables 4 that he doesn't want to be either. And I also think it's completely reasonable that he doesn't want to be part of the new Predator movie if that one report is to be believed and his only role, I mean, I don't. I guess this can't be considered a spoiler considering it probably won't happen, but I, I forget what the outlet was called that we brought up in our pre-production meeting, but someone had said that his role was limited to the end of the movie mm. to, to tee up a sequel. And I can understand someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger not wanting to be used in that capacity and having no nothing to do with the rest of the movie. So, you know, good on him assessing it. He's got other things going on. So while I'm sad we won't see him in these, I think he probably made the right choice. Yeah, it was, it was AVP Galaxy yep. who reported that. Mm. And, uh, you know, Dennis, I'm actually going to sell it that, that he would change his mind. Okay. I think that there's a chance that they could rewrite the script to try to wedge him into more of the Predator, but I'm fine with seeing a Predator movie that doesn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger in it at this day and age, and I'm fine with not seeing The Expendables 4. I had some fun with the first three movies, but I don't need to see more of them. Like, I, I'd like these guys to just just take a break. Just sit in a rocking chair at Cracker Barrel and just talk <laughs> about the good old days for a little bit. You don't need to be in planes jumping out, skiing down slope. You don't need to be doing all that stuff. For yeah. The Predator, though, what really, really bothers me is that they're not, like, like, why would you, if you have the character of Dutch that's still around, and you have Arnold Schwarzenegger willing to reprise his role as that, and you're not going to wedge that into the beginning of the movie to set up this new Predator, I, I don't know where this movie's going. This movie's starting to make me a little nervous. I, I think Shane Black is really cool, but I don't know where this story is going that you wouldn't have him help set up the beginning of the movie in the same way that you had Arnold and Carl Weathers at the beginning about to go on this mission. I'm not saying Arnold needs to go on the mission in the new Predator, but... I mean, you got to expect he would be giving a little bit of advice. If I had to go fight a predator that just landed, the first guy I'm calling is Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's the only one that survived it. The second person I call is Christian Harloff. So I don't know what you do to go battle a predator unless you have Dutch's number on speed dial. Okay. Okay, so do I buy or sell these comments? I buy the comments because I think he is – trying to use the old Hollywood thing of like, well, unless they change the script, I won't come back. And it's logical. It makes sense. I think it's a smart move by him as an actor. He's kind of turning the screws a little bit on Shane Black to beef up the role. And this happens all the time through decades in Hollywood. So it makes sense. It's a nice move by him. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't need to be part of this. Arnold is fine. And so he can make these kinds of decisions and make these kinds of statements, and it works. You know, So we'll see if they beef it up. I'm with Mark. I agree. I don't need to see him in it, but if you're going to put him in it, you got to have him even in like a briefing, even a briefing room where they bring him in. He's got his cigar, and like, this predator has landed. We need, we're not telling a lot of people. We need to know what you did. Let me tell you what I did. You know, there's something there that you can explore with him, and it's great. Now, I do take offense to what Mark says about Expendables because they don't need to be on a rocking chair. If he wants to go see Van Halen and they're 85 years old, then damn it, these people should be doing Expendables 4 as well. I love the Expendables movies. They're not the greatest movies, and there are some cheesy moments, but for those of us who grew up on 80s action films, they are so awesome. When Chuck Norris shows up, it's everything. When Mel Gibson revitalizing his career is the best part of Expendables 3 because he's so awesome and so above everyone else in what he's doing as an actor, it's worth it to see the show case of what these people can still do when given the right material. And Sly knows how to use his friends. And this is so ironic that Arnie won't do the film because Arnie and Sly through the 80s and 90s had a really like contentious relationship because they were competing to be top dog in the action movie genre and then eventually became friends with Planet Hollywood and now you see these kinds of moments even Escape Plan was worth it to me I saw it three times 
because I love their chemistry. They're such great. It's going to revisit old friends, is what it is, and that's why I'm sad that they're not going to. And hopefully, what Sly is doing, because the producer came out and said. Sly and I have fought all the time with these expendable movies, so it doesn't mean he's completely out. You guys can write what you want, but there's certain possible. So they may all come back and do Expendables 4, but everyone is posturing like they need to be posturing, and to me, I have no problem with it. Until it, if they start shooting, I won't believe he's not in it until they start shooting. Okay, mark my words right now. I will actually pay for a ticket for Roka to go see Van Halen on their massive 2018 <laughs> tour. You know why it's different than Expendables 3? Because Van Halen, when they hit the stage, they're not mailing it in. Expendables <laughs> 3, everybody <laughs> mailed it in except for the new guys. So Harrison Ford shows up, and he's actually trying. Yeah. He probably thought he was just flying a helicopter. He didn't know he was in the movie. <laughs> Mel Gibson shows up. He's actually trying. But Sly didn't care. Statham How didn't dare care you? anymore. Schwarzenegger How didn't dare care you? anymore. Bruce Willis didn't Randy care anymore. Randy Couture cared. <laughs> Terry, uh, uh, Van Halen it? still cares. <laughs> they still care. David Lee Roth. And we never haven't cared. even gotten to the Transformers yeah, story yeah. yet. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'm gonna buy these comments as well. I mean, let, let's start off with the the Predator. Yeah, it's. I thought if if they were gonna use his character, that he would come halfway in and, mm. and, and be some sort of advisor. He didn't necessarily have to go on the mission with them. Um, and it looks like. From what that report it sounds like, almost like maybe he's a post, or they written wrote him in as a post credit mm. scene. Um, so if he doesn't want to do it because it's not a big enough role, I think that makes sense. And I don't think it's a reflection on how good or bad the script is. He, he just didn't have a big enough role. Mm. And then for Expendables, it makes a lot of sense. It's smart because one, he knows. Look, Sylvester Stallone is the face of that franchise. Expendables is his baby. That's it's true. His thing that he put together, that he brought all his friends together, and. I didn't care for the first one, but I did really like the second one. I think the third one was a step back because it, it I don't know, I think they took themselves a little too seriously. I, I like the tongue-in-cheek nature of the second one. I, fourth one, I don't need to see one. If they made one, I'd still go check it out. But Schwarzenegger knows if he even tried to go and do the movie without Sylvester Stallone, people would criticize yeah. him and yeah. complain. And so if he's friends with Stallone and him not being in, I think that makes a lot of sense. Hopefully... Stallone comes back to the property because it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. How do you do Expendables 4 without Sylvester and, Stallone? And, yeah. and you look at the recent box office track record of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the returns haven't been good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I thought the, the movie that he made when he was the sheriff and the, like, the last the stand last or whatever stand. that was, yeah, yeah. it was really, really good. Yep. Nobody saw it. Escape Plan. Rogue saw it three times. A lot of people didn't. Mm -hmm. So unlike a very successful Van Halen tour, a lot oh of people aren't paying to see money to see Schwarzenegger on the big screen anymore. And that's just a fact. I don't know if that factors into <laughs> their new script for Predator. Okay. I don't know if Shane Black is like, I don't want to lean too heavily on Arnold yeah. for that reason mm -hmm. because they don't want to get some of the Terminator Jenny Smith, which relied too heavily on just having Arnold back and not enough furthering mm -hmm. or at least trying to build some continuity in the story. Maybe that's what it was. And so if they want a fresh take on Predator, I'm totally cool with that i'm just saying that if dutch is still alive i'm calling it i just want i want, I want a plus one for escape plan two which they're shooting now with you i want to be your plus one if you get a screening mark ellis it's dave batista and stallone they're, they've been tweeting uh, uh excerpts and film uh, shots from the movie what a sweet date night yeah Have it fun. would be it I would be. see that. Like, you and I are going to get an iced tea, our, our usual iced tea at Panera yes. right after this. Yes. We're friends. That's right. <laughs> and Eddie, <laughs> and let's be honest, David Lee Roth has never cared a day in his life. Let's be real. <laughs> David Lee Roth Stop has it, the you. most energy and charisma of any lead singer yes, that has ever cared. lived. He's not the most talented guy, but my God, does that man put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to uh, my favorite subject, uh, Transformers. All right, Paramount Pictures. Oh, what is happening over there? Paramount Girl Pictures is writing has all of this nope. down. Don't worry, guys. Roka, contain yourself. I'm get sorry. your Get your Transformers you know shirt ready. Stop playing favorites. 